Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, one of the feature I really wanted uh, to have in Azure Data Factory. That's uh, how to activate uh, and deactivate uh, some of the tasks uh, or activities uh, while uh, I run the pipeline. Um, I came with the background from SSIS uh, where we have this uh, um, uh, option. Uh, if we want to disable some uh, data flow or uh, execute SQL task or all that, we were able to do that. Uh, but in Azure Data Factory, that was not available. Um, now, they have added this feature and I'm gonna give you guys a kind of demo here so you can see how you can make use of it and uh, often uh, your uh, pipeline fails at one point uh, and maybe you want to run it and uh, you can go ahead and simply disable and run the other ones uh. now let's go to the pipelines here in Azure Data Factory and uh, click on a new pipeline uh. And uh, here I'm not going to use a whole lot of activities. I'm mean, just going to use the wait activity to perform uh, this demo. You can use any other activities as well. Uh. So see right here we have a uh, two wait and uh, we are going to connect them. Here you will connect wait one with the wait two. And uh, if you see right there uh, now if I want to only execute wait uh, two activity from my pipeline there was not option available but now they have added this one um, so click on this uh, wait one activity and here it says uh, deactivate um, once you do that what's going to happen is going to mark that as a grayed out uh, and only this activity will uh, execute uh, now let's go ahead and uh, debug here you can see that uh, the execution and uh, now if you will go right here it is uh, this part is the same like oh this is inactive and uh, then once this guy is, will complete it will show us uh, the completed or success uh, so let me drag this a little bit up and uh, also close this window so we can see right here so wait one inactive so it did not get executed and uh, this wait two did get executed with success uh, that's great but now how about if we have a for each loop and there are some activities inside how that works so so here is for each loop and uh, to make this for each loop work uh, I'm gonna create a variable so we can loop through the things um, here I'm going to create a variable called name and uh, then I will uh, save this one as array so we will save some uh, I'm gonna save my first name and then I'm gonna save my last name so you can see this is an array of uh, names uh, right here so I will connect away to activity with the for each loop in the for each loop I will go to settings here and uh, maybe I will just make it sequential in the items I'm gonna get the list from the variable I'm gonna go to the variable here and choose the name variable hit OK now and uh, this is also fancy it's been a while I didn't use Azure Data Factory so this color and all that is new for me I like it though now we can go ahead and uh, maybe add a couple more activities here so let's add another wait activity here in the uh, for each loop container or maybe we can go ahead and do add two of them so I'm gonna connect them it's your choice you want to connect them or not but I'm just connecting uh, for this demo now see right there in the wait uh, um, we have for each loop now if uh, there is another activity right after the uh, for each loop let me connect that one and uh, here let's uh, add this one okay now if I have all these activities uh, but I don't want to use the uh, for each loop uh, what I can do I can simply right click here and say deactivate once I do that uh, what it is doing it is also deactivating the inner activities uh, as well that's fine and that's what I actually wanted so now I'm gonna debug and we will see the wait 2 activity will run and wait 5 activity will execute this wait 1 and the for each loop with the wait 3 and wait 4 activities will just not run as they are inactive so you can see right there execution is happening and we can scroll a little bit up here we see that wait 1 is disabled or deactivated so it's not a run in then now uh, we came to the wait 2 that's got executed successfully and now we came inside the for each loop uh, that's totally inactive um, so it didn't go to the uh, activity 3 and 4 uh, that is uh, inside the uh, for each loop um, so that's what we wanted and then wait 5 uh, got executed uh, now there are some times uh, we want to activate uh, this uh, for each loop but inside the activity we want to disable so go to edit here and uh, now what I'm gonna do here I might just go and uh, disable wait for them um, so just uh, deactivate here and you can see that uh, active wait three activities uh, fine and uh, then wait 
four activities deactivated you can see there there is a this uh, I don't know how you say this there is a circle and then cross line on it and that tells you this is deactivated now inside here you can see right this one as well so these are deactivated let's debug so what's gonna happen in this case the wait two will run so as a success wait one is uh, inactive so it's not gonna run now in the for each loop uh, only wait three will execute uh, and then once this is completed then uh, wait five will run um, wait four will not execute because it's uh, deactivated here our pipeline has completed uh, and uh, let's take a look uh, wait one as I said that uh, is not uh, executed because it's inactive and then we have wait two that executed and then we went inside the for each loop uh, and inside the for each loop we have a uh, wait three and wait four uh, so you see that the uh, wait three ran then uh, wait four was not executed wait three ran again uh, and the wait four was uh, not executed uh, you are seeing the multiple time of execution because the for each loop is looping through two names uh, first and the name was Amir the second name was a Shehzad and that's why we are seeing uh, two active two times the uh, execution of the activities inside the for each loop uh, now we have a uh, wait five activity here and that got executed you would not believe how excited I am uh, after having this uh, feature because uh, I uh, struggled through a lot of scenarios where testing was very difficult and all that. Now with uh, this uh, functionality life is much better and uh, I can do testing, I can disable the items I don't need it during the testing and or uh, the, I can disable them and execute my pipelines anytime uh, later on as well. So I thank you for watching my uh, video. Please go ahead and subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in next video.